French, everybody. It's your boy Hugh here from Creator Up. Today, we are going to focus on the 360 video and photo of the brand new Insta360 ONE R. We will talk about the 360 video quality, the impressive stabilization called Flow State 2.0. Then, we will talk about 360 photo quality, the night shot. Then, we will review some of the exciting features of ONE R. We will put one R in the water to test underwater capturing. We will fly the one R with the brand new one R drone modification and my DJI Mavic Pro 2 right here. Then I will teach you some new AI features to create interesting videos for your Instagram that you have not seen anywhere else on the internet. I am not gonna just talk about it like everybody else. I'm gonna show you Apple's to Apple's comparison amongst Insta360 ONE X, GoPro Max, Kandao Cool Cam AK, and the Ricoh Theta Z1. It is a long, in-depth review video, so let me provide you all the time codes in the description down below and samples download links. No time to waste, let's go! 260 video quality. Let's take a look at image quality comparison. From left to right, we have the Insta 261 Art, GoPro Max, and CoolCam AK. GoPro Max has a more saturated look, and One Art has a more flat color look, but the sharpness is mostly the same for close distance. CoolCam AK is larger and sharper because it is AK and 10 bit. But CoolCam AK in the current version has some coloring issues, as you see the color chart. Hopefully, it will be fixed though in the next release. Let's turn to the chart that is 6 feet away from the camera. We see again the CoolCam AK is obviously sharper and clearer, but One R is actually slightly sharper than GoPro Max. Let's zoom in 300% and look at only the chart. I highlighted red for you to look at. You can tell the dots are clearer in One R than Max. The reason why is because One R with its new HDVC or H.265 compression has more data than GoPro Max. One R is about 100 megabit per second in H.265 and GoPro Max is about 70 megabit per second. The extra 30 megabit per second in data make GoPro Max footage look more compressed compared to One R. If you are doing any source of post production, it will be easier in One R than GoPro Max. If you are using a mobile phone to edit, then it does not matter. By the way, CoolCam AK has chromatic aberration around the stitch lines, which is highlighted purple. GoPro Max and One R does not have this problem at all. You can easily fix this though in post production. If you want to learn how, comment below. Now let's check the dynamic range which seem to be the only thing everybody cares about these days. Well, if you turn to the California sun, we see all these cameras are mostly the same, with GoPro Max better in the highlights and CoolCam AK better in the shadows. But here is where Insta 261 are gonna kick both of their asses. No one has ever done that! With HDR video, you see One R can dramatically recover highlight, light the sun, and lift the shadow. The result is pretty obvious. Although, be very careful when to use HDR. As you see right here, left is HDR from the Insta 261 R, and on the right is without HDR. You see these crazy flickers and color noise right here. So in general, don't use HDR in low light or indoor lighting. 
I only see good result right now in bright daylight in both Insta360 Pro 2 and One Art in HDR video. If Insta360 has a fix, you will be the first one to know by following this channel. It is only fair to compare all three of this camera in 360 video within a VR headset. So I make a separate video on YouTube VR and Oculus TV link right here to show you the comparison, including stitching quality side by side. I also included Insta360 ONE X in that video. So go check it out now. The video will answer the question why you need to upgrade from ONE X to ONE R. Flow State 2.0, a better 360 stabilization. Insta360 spent lots of time to make One R the perfect action 360 camera by giving it an even better stabilization called Flow State 2.0. Look at One R on my Pluto just for fun. Oops, wrong clip. Okay, this is the correct one. Look at that. The stabilization is so good, it's almost ridiculous. No gimbal or steady cam can even achieve this kind of result. Well done, Insta360. They officially take the crown of the most stabilized camera ever, including 2D cameras. I will have an in-depth review on why I think Insta360 ONE R is the most stabilized camera ever in 360 VR. So stay tuned for that. Besides impressive horizon leveling and directional locking, what makes Flow State 2.0 special is how it deals with low light stabilization by removing motion blur in low light. Let me show you. Here we have me running at night. On the left, we have One Art. On the right, we have GoPro Max. As you see my face on GoPro Max, it is very blurry. Also, look at the stores in the background. You cannot read the store names. On the left, One Art, it is noisier, but my face and the background are crystal clear. This is the result of AI Remove Green. But if you want a more aggressive noise removal, my upcoming DaVinci Resolve and Fusion 16 to 60 editing tutorial will help you with just that. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Nice shot. Nine DNG merging. For people doing virtual tour, or just taking tiny planet photo like I do on Instagram, having a good 360 photo camera is going to be important as well in 2020. Most people don't want to carry a separate 360 photo camera like the Ricoh Theta Z1. Even we all know Z1 will have better image quality. Let's take a look and see how one R stack against other 360 cameras. First, we have just single DNG from the one R. Next, we have a night shot from One R. Then we have GoPro Max. Lastly, we have CoolCam AK DNG8. Now we put them all together. As you see, just single JPEG or DNG from the One R is not great compared to GoPro Max, but the night shot is a lot better than single DNG in terms of dynamic range, color, sharpness, and noise. So. For one art, you always want to shoot night shot at night. It is actually as fast as capturing one photo. During daytime, you can also use night shot on a fast moving subject like horse racing or DMX bike jumping if you want to avoid motion blur. I tested one art night shot with this handheld to see selfies at CES against one art HDR photo. As you see, the result is great. Compared Night Shot with the GoPro Max and CoolCam AK DNG 8, let's zoom in on my shoes. You see a lot more details in CoolCam AK and Night Shot than GoPro Max. If you look at the back of the dinosaurs, you see dynamic range is a lot better in both One R, Night Shot, and CoolCam AK. CoolCam AK captured even more details than One R, Night Shot. But CoolCam AK has pretty bad coloring and chromatic aberration. It will require more works in post production to make it look great. On the other hand, One R Night Shot just looks great out of the box. And it will look better if you do color grading in your phone with Snapseed or Lightroom Mobile. From a consumer perspective, if you are releasing your photos on Instagram, then One R Night Shot is the best among all four of the results. 
do notice when our night shot does not increase the resolution of your photo. It is still 6K and Coolcam AK is 8K. So in 360 photo, Coolcam AK still has an advantage because larger resolution. Let me also provide some shooting tips for you. When using night shot or Coolcam AK, try to drop your EV down to minor one or even minor two to underexpose your image. The idea is to protect blow out highlights. You can always recover shadows in DNG merging technology and the noise is very minimum, but you cannot recover blow out highlights. The information is just lost. So always expose according to the brightest part of your image to get the best result. One more shooting tips just like this. Subscribe and give me a thumb up. More tutorials are coming. Ricoh Theta Z1 is still better than all three of these cameras in 260 photo because of a larger sensor and better looking lenses. One R has a one inch sensor modification coming. So it will be very interesting to compare it with Z1 when it's out. Worth to mention, one R also introduced AI in night photo capturing. They call it virtual OIS. Basically, it is impossible to capture a blurry photo at night, even you have a shaky hand. So it is really consumer friendly features. Waterproof and underwater test. You know by now, another big selling point of One R is waterproof. Even better, you can focus better underwater compared to GoPro Max. Something that you don't know until you see apples to apple comparison. Let's drop the camera in my fish palm and see the result together. So on top, we have GoPro Max and on the bottom, we have One R. They both have stitching issues underwater as we all know that already. But even just for over capture, you see GoPro Max is slightly out of focus underwater. One R looks less out of focus compared to Max. And in general, look sharper. I have a full 360 underwater camera comparison with View XR underwater housing, Insta 360 One X underwater housing, GoPro Max, and the One R. Check the link here when it becomes available. One R Aerial Edition. Aerial 260 is the most anticipated feature of One R. As you see right here, I just received the beta DJI Mavic Pro 2 modification and have been testing during the weekend. Let me show you some of my personal results instead of the official result you saw on their website or every other reviewer's videos. As you see, the result is good out of the box. The stitching is solid. Ta -da. Top and bottom sync in the frame level without rolling shutters. It is 100% gen lock synced it. If you have not built custom 260 rigs before and have no idea what is gen lock and why it is so important, check this description on screen right here. Again, I don't want to turn this into a college class like in USC film school and make myself into a professor. You only need to know this is the one and only gen lock solution for Arial 60 I know so far that works. People make fun of Insta360 of copying Kodak SP360 Drone Edition with 3DR Solo. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Which is our business right now. If you are in the 360 industry long enough, one of those OG members like your boy Hugh here, you know about Kodak products. And I can tell you that this Insta360 One R Drone solution is completely different from the Kodak. It is not only frame level gen not synced, but also stabilized as a full 360 video with unified IMU data. The stitch distance is about five to six meters. It is okay in aerial photography. Anything closer than that, you will risk crashing your drone. So it solves all the pain points we have as 360 aerial videographers. So should you pull out your wallet right now and buy this immediately? No, this is not for consumers unless you are a FPV pilot, drone racing pilot, or commercial pilot who can fly without GPS. 
99.9% of the Mavic Pro 2 owners, including your boy Hugh here, is not more denied and cannot fly this. GPS data does more than just showing you where the drone is on the map. It's used to help stabilize your drone to prevent drifting because of winds and environment variables. Ooh. Ooh. Shit. When losing GPS, your drone will go into air T mode or altitude mode to start drifting toward the direction wind hit. That is 99% of why people crashing their drones. So unless you are a licensed FPV pilot that can fly in altitude mode without GPS assist and only fly in light of sight or indoor light and racing drone, you want to wait for the Mavic Pro 1 mount. I will have a full in-depth review of flying tutorial of both the Mavic Pro 1 and Pro 2 coming. I will highly recommend to check those out before buying your setup. Even you know how to fly without GPS. I have lots of friends in the FPV community and drone racing community will help you to achieve cinematic 60 shots safely. And sorry to be the hype breaker, but that is why I'm here as a professional 360 camera reviewers, helping you to be safe and to be responsible. Also, this is not going to be covered by your regular drone insurance in United States. Well, I will save that part information in the next tutorial. Creative over capture effects. If you are using 360 camera as an over capture 2D camera for Instagram or other social media, you have more creative effects beside the bullet time, thanks to the newly AI powered mobile app. Wow. This feature will also be introduced to One X after the official rollout. So yes, it benefits you too if you decide to wait for the One X2. The One X2. You heard it. One X2 is coming this year and it's going to be epic in an entire different way. I'm going to show each new AR effects on my Instagram and how I created it. So don't forget to follow me on Instagram and sharpen your creative skill and gain massive followers. So the first one I am going to show you is AI stop motion. My personal favorites, as you see right here. All you need to do is to walk with your invisible selfie state and to point the 360 camera on your front right direction. Make sure your clip is more than two minutes long. Do it in your morning jog and give yourself an excuse and motivation to exercise. Then in the mobile app, pick stories, stop motion, use this theme, select the clip and hold the person you want to track. You will see the pending post message come up with a percentage meters. By the way, having the latest iPhone 11 will help dramatically improve the speed of this. Go ahead and hit preview and you get this nice effect to share on your Instagram. Make sure to use Color Plus and set the resolution higher if you want to use it on YouTube. The other one I like that I never saw anyone does is the time flip. As you see right here, you can simply put your back against a wall, preferably a wall with nice graffiti and swing the invisible selfie stick in one direction only. The key is to have a clear one swing 360 video to make the AI work flawlessly. Start your recording with your swing with a mobile phone and end it when it is done. It should only last for one to two seconds. Then repeat three to six of them in front of a different wall. In the app, go ahead and pick time flip, use the theme, pick three to six of them and let the AI does the rest for you. You can even change transition and music to make it more personalized. If you use it on Instagram, please don't forget to tag me at hue.ho to let me know your creation. Thank you for watching part one of the 1R hands-on reviews. 
On part two, I will focus on 2D filming with my Leica 1-inch modification that shoots 3.5.3K with a super wide angle. We will explore technical things that you wouldn't hear from anybody else. So you can get your money worth if you decide to go for the 1-inch sensor modification. There is a 360 version of this video on YouTube VR and Oculus TV to show you instead of telling you the quality difference amongst One R, One X, GoPro Max, Coolcam AK, and Ricoh Theta Z1. I highly recommend to watch that video next to spot everything you hear in this video. So together, you should now be able to decide if you want the One R or decide to wait on it. Honestly, I think One R is a great action 360 camera with its very affordable price point. It's one of the coolest tech in 2020. And a lot more upgrades are coming with different modifications. You will learn them all first on Creator Up. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. Give me a like and comment below for questions. I'm sure you have a lot and I will do my best to answer them all as I'm here offering my expertise in the 360 industry and truly want to help you to grow your creative skills. Until next time, ciao.